Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to update your stock levels within the Shipping Easy Inventory Management System. This video will focus on updating stock levels in bulk, getting all or most of your product stock levels updated at the same time, either by CSV upload or importing your stock levels directly from your store or marketplace. The first of those two ways is on the product catalog page, which we get to by hovering over inventory on the blue bar at the top and selecting products. On this page, we'll use the upload products button right here. This is the most effective way to set stock levels for all your products at once. It can sometimes be tricky on the first go around, so we'll take it slow here. What we're going to do is upload a CSV file, basically a spreadsheet in .csv format containing our product information and stock levels directly into Shipping Easy. First, let's talk about what this CSV looks like and what information it contains. The easiest way to format the CSV is just to download any existing products using the download products link here. Shipping Easy will make the CSV for you, populate it with your current products, and email you the download link. If you don't have any products yet, you can download a sample CSV by clicking Upload Products, and using this link right here that says Download a Sample Product CSV. Then just replace any information with your own. If you downloaded your own products from the Shipping Easy product catalog, the file you're sent looks like this. You can manipulate this file any way you like, just keep in mind everything is based off the SKU. If you change the SKU, it won't update the existing product, it will add an entirely new product to the catalog. Since this video is about updating stock levels, I'm going to change some of the stock levels for a few of my products here. Then save the file somewhere easy to remember, because we're going to need it very soon. Back in Shipping Easy, we're going to upload the CSV we just saved by clicking Upload Products. Navigating to our easy to find CSV, and selecting Upload File. This takes us to the Map Fields screen. Since we downloaded this file from Shipping Easy, all the mapping is already done for us. If you created your own CSV, match the titles of the columns with the applicable information on the right. Before uploading the product CSV, you may find it helpful to remove any columns you're not currently updating. In this case, we're just updating stock, so you could delete all other columns in the CSV except SKU and stock to make the field mapping step easier. Don't worry, if you don't include a field for a product when uploading the CSV, like image URL, we won't erase it, we'll just keep using what's already saved in Shipping Easy for that product. I am going to call out a specific field here though, the Adjust Stock column. Now the difference between adjusting stock and overriding it is, adjusting stock adds or subtracts by the number, rather than just replacing it with the new number. The default stock column is override, but if you switch the mapping to adjust, it will add or subtract from your totals rather than just setting a new one. Put a negative sign before the number to subtract and type it normally to add to the total existing stock. It's a very neat little feature, but only one can be mapped on any upload. So if you want to map this column, you must first unmap the stock column. Once we hit continue, Shipping Easy processes the information, which takes about a minute or so. When it's done, the green ready button pops up. Click this button and you get one final chance to review the product information before finalizing the upload. It looks good to me, so I'll click complete upload. The new updated product information, including our new stock levels, will now be visible in the product catalog. These changes are also visible in the history for each product, just like other modifications. Okay, so there is one more way to update stock levels that's also extremely easy, but can only be used on your store settings page. To get there, we click on settings on the blue bar at the top, then stores and orders in the bottom left. Now what we're about to do is import existing product information and stock levels from a specific store. So we want to make sure that information is accurate as listed on at least one store. If your levels are not accurate on at least one store, then you can't use this final method. But if you do have accurate product information and stock levels on a store, click on the logo for that store. Then navigate to the Products tab. On this tab we find the Import Products button. 
Clicking this button by itself will bring over product listings to populate the product catalog. This includes any new products not yet seen by Shipping Easy, but will only import stock levels if this checkbox is checked. If not, any new product added will be added with a stock level of zero. So I'll check the box, and I'll hit the button, which gets replaced with this blue bar telling you the process is underway. It can take up to 15 minutes, and this page will look like this until it's done. Once it's done, you'll get an email confirming the product import is complete, which looks like this. Then we can check the product catalog to see the results. The product listings and stock levels imported from a single store can now be used to manage your total stock for each product across all your integrated stores. This is by far the easiest option, but as you've seen, is best for a specific scenario. So there you have it. Updating stock levels in Shipping Easy has never been easier. To find the support article on this topic, click Help Center in the bottom right and search for Update Stock Levels. Click the first result. This little square opens it in a new tab. And there you go. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you want to learn more about our inventory management system, schedule a demo with our specialist using the link in the description below.